What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to tell you which card I got approved for as my last chase card. And I'm so happy to be done with 524. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go ahead and get into it. Boop. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Jay. Welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Also, be sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It'll help me out. Appreciate it. And comment down below with your thoughts on this video. And comment with what your thoughts are on 524. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I'm just saying that right now. Also, guys, do not forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway for once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, all you have to do, subscribe comment and like the videos and that's it so the card that i was approved for is the world of hyatt card i know i did a video in the past talking about my 524 strategy but you know what the one thing that i absolutely hate about 524 is that you actually can miss out on some really decent cards or sign up bonuses i know one card that i really wish that i had applied for but i was keeping in mind my 524 strategy was the barclay arrival plus card and that card has now been completely discontinued for the moment um, apparently it's you know this is common for Barclays to remove the arrival plus card and then somehow bring it back but you know I'm not exactly sure if they're gonna bring it back ever so I missed out on that card so I hate 524 for that when I was sitting here thinking you know I'm like okay uh, I want to get at least three or four more chase cards and then I'll be done with 524 I quickly started to realize that I just want it to be over with I want the whole process to be over with uh, I don't care I feel like like I got enough cards from Chase, I don't need that many, um, especially uh, with the limit that they gave me on the World of Hyatt card. This was the last card that I'll, I, sh I think I'm good to be honest with Chase. I thought about getting some business cards like the uh, Southwest business cards and trying to get that highly coveted companion pass for two years, right? Which allows you to travel um, basically for free with, uh, you know, yourself and your companion, um, you know, just for taxes. So that's free to me. But uh, I started thinking and I just honestly, I just got tired of trying to put together strategies and you know, that's okay. Not everybody is going to uh, follow the same process as anybody else. I know we all here in the credit card niche, we make suggestions, you know, and you kind of, it's up to you, the viewer who watches our content um, to make those decisions like, hey, which, what do you find more valuable to you? Um, is it even worth dealing with 524? In all honesty, I think it is. But um, just because Chase is so stringent on their application rules and, um, you know, you could potentially be locked out from really good cards, in my opinion. In order to get any Chase cards, um, you would have to go basically without any having applied for any cards for two years. So that's kind of hard to do. Um, so, like I said, I was, you know thinking about applications and you know I had obviously I made a video on my Charles Schwab investor card and that uh, sign up bonus that came up for that card was ending November 16th but I hadn't applied for a card since July uh, well actually June got the cards in July it was like late June and I was like okay you know what I think I'm done I don't want to wait anymore um, and I didn't feel like putting together, you know, following the strategy that I had. I was ready to move on past 524. So I decided to apply for both the Schwab Investor card from American Express and the World of Hyatt card on the same exact day at the exact same time. I just got here on my computer and I had my laptop next to me as well. And I had an application on both and I clicked submit at the same time on both. I got approved for both. Um, obviously, if you watch my Schwab investor card unboxing right here then you'll see how much I got approved for but with this card I actually got approved for it's around $21,500 I think it might be a little less you know don't quote me on that but it was definitely 21,000 and you know like 300 or 400 500 something like that I can't remember okay uh, the card hasn't come in yet that's probably another thing that I don't really like about Chase is that um, they literally will not expedite your card if even if you ask them 
wouldn't too. Like, oh, I'm sorry, we can't do that. You know, you got to wait 10 days. Um, and that's 10 days less that you have to get that sign up bonus. So, um, you know, that, that puts a lot of pressure on anyone who would not be able to actually hit that spin or who someone who might need those extra 10 days. You know what I'm saying? American Express, on the other hand, they will expedite your card if you request it. You have to make sure that it's done as soon as you get approved. You know, after the application process, they'll probably tell you like you've been approved, whatever have you. Would you like to get your card number added to Apple Wallet or have it expedited? You'll get it in three to five business days, which is a lot faster. So you can start using the card and get the sign up bonus i think you know the world of hyatt card is a great card uh and you know honestly if if you're someone who's sitting at 524 or who's trying to strategize for 524 what cards are you waiting to get uh what cards are you eyeing right now because obviously the much anticipated green card has released and people are going ape shit over it they everyone wants it obviously the green card would add to your 524 so would this be something that you would consider getting would you be willing to give up a spot for it or you know what would you do so guys just let me know down in the comments what your strategy is for 524 and if you're over it or do you like it i'm telling you guys right off right now like i hate it i absolutely hate it i wish it didn't exist uh unfortunately it is a real thing obviously there's not any any rules in in chase's terms and conditions about the 524 rule but people experiencing this uh over the course of time it has given everyone enough data points to uh know that it is actually a real thing and it really does exist so um yeah, guys, I mean, let me know what you guys think about it. And um, do you have the World of Hyatt card? What do you use it for? Obviously, you can get uh, 9X at Hyatt. And if you're not familiar with Hyatt hotels, they are the best way to use Chase Ultimate Rewards Points. So, you know, with whatever sign up bonuses you get, it's always nice to you know put some points into Hyatt and I, I don't recommend pushing all your points like transferring all your points to Hyatt because then they'll be stuck there forever only use whatever you're gonna need right and usually they give you um, they charge you increments of in, in the thousands so um, I mean you can find a really great redemption with Hyatt hotels at as low as 5,000 points right and they also don't ever charge you any extra fees once you've booked that uh, room through points let me know if you you have the Hyatt card let me know what you think about 524 and yeah that's pretty much it guys so that'll conclude today's video guys for more video updates hit that subscribe button if found this information be helpful give this video a thumbs up really appreciate it share it with friends drop a comment down below what you think about the Hyatt credit card uh do you have it what do you think about 524 and yeah don't forget to hit the bell notification on the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video be a good person be safe be smart ah. and remember Oh, wait. Credit is your life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.